This is the only surefire way to professionally and permanently restore your headlights. Well, that didn't work. If you're like me and drive older vehicles, then you may have encountered or will have encountered yellow faded sunburnt plastic headlight lenses. Let's face it, modern headlight housings are made of plastic and that is no match for the relentless sun. Now, I've been sunburnt more than a few times in my life and I can tell you from firsthand experience, it only takes about 20 to 30 minutes to burn my skin. Imagine your plastic headlight housing sitting in that same sun all day every day. Yeah, it doesn't take long for your brand new crystal clear plastic headlight to look like this. At that point, you have three options. Number one, leave it and let your vehicle look 10 years older than it really is and thereby decrease its value. Number two, buy new ones. And this is a good option if you like spending money because they're usually pretty expensive, like $100 to $200 or even way more. And on top of that, they are rarely made to the same OEM quality that came on our vehicles from the factory. And option three, restore them like I'm gonna do. Now option three is very cost effective and allows you to keep your same OEM headlight housing. All right, so we've selected option three. We're gonna restore our OEM headlight housings from the factory. To start this restoration, we're gonna need a couple things. We're gonna need sandpaper, four levels of grit. We're gonna need 400 grit, 800 grit, 1500 grit, and 3000 grit. Now this sanding process is very important and it is worth the few extra dollars to get all four grits. So don't skimp out there. Then we'll need some kind of polishing compound and I'll be using this turtle wax stuff that I've had in my garage for a few years. And finally, some sort of wax or protectant to finish it off. I'll be using this new finish stuff, which is very affordable. We'll also need to grab a bucket and fill it with some soapy water and have some rags on hand. All right, guys, so the process we're gonna use is called wet sanding. This is gonna be the only real way to actually completely restore our headlights like new. The reason is simple. The top layer of plastic on our headlights has been sunburned. And just like our skin, which peels and renews itself, we're gonna use this sandpaper to remove that top layer of burnt plastic. And once that burnt plastic is removed, the headlights will look like new again. Let's start. Okay, so step one is to remove and wash your headlight housing. Now, you don't necessarily have to remove your headlight from the vehicle, but it does make it a whole heck of a lot easier to do this. Step two, start the sanding process. We're gonna start off with the 400 grit paper. Make sure you have your bucket full of soapy water, dip the sandpaper to get it wet, and start sanding. This 400 grit paper will be our main material remover. So make sure you take your time with this step. You don't need to press hard you just need to press evenly. Let the sandpaper do the work. Now I used an oval type motion for the entire sanding process and this seemed to work for me pretty good to not get so fatigued, but use whatever motion you want. Just make sure you're doing it evenly and consistently. Now after about five minutes of continuous sanding with the 400 grit, we're gonna move on to the 800. And with the 800, we're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna keep that sandpaper wet and we're gonna sand as evenly and consistently as we can. You do not wanna press hard, you just wanna focus on being consistent. And after that 800, we'll repeat the process two more times with the 1500 grit and finally the 3000 grit. My biggest piece of advice here would be to take your time. The longer you sand, the better your results are going to be. That first 400 grit paper is going to remove the most of the material. From then on, we're just trying to smooth out those initial 400 grit scratches that we just put in the headlight. By the time we get to the 3000 grit, these scratches are so very very minute, we only need a little bit of polishing. I would say at least five minutes of sanding per grit level. Step three, the sanding is done. But as you can see, even after the 3000 grit sandpaper, the headlights are still a bit foggy. Now, this is only due to the micro scratches that we've put in the plastic from all the sanding. At this point, all that yellow burnt plastic is gone. So in this third step, we're gonna polish those micro scratches out. This is another very important step. And like the sanding, the longer you do this, the better the results are going to be. I used a microfiber towel and plenty of polish, and I polished 
polish for about 10 minutes consistently. Okay, so this is the fun part. Let's wash the headlight and look at our finished product. The results are absolutely stunning. The headlight looks like new. And because we took our time and went through all four grits of sandpaper, there is no burnt yellow plastic to speak of. All that's left is like new, OEM quality plastic. And there's no need to spray with a clear coat since we actually removed the burnt yellow plastic. All right, so our last step, step four. Let's do a final polish and protection with this new finish. What this is going to do is fill in any remaining minute scratches, giving us even better clarity. On top of that, it'll give us a nice layer of protection to help our headlight just last longer. It's easy to apply, cheap, and can be done every car wash or so. Well, congratulations. You've just saved yourself a bunch of money. Your headlights look like new again, you've regained clarity while driving at night, and you've gotten to know your car a little better, which makes it more fun to drive. As we all know, there are many ways to restore your headlights, but I believe this wet sand method is the only way that's going to actually remove the problem, that burnt yellow plastic. And by doing that, they will look like new again. Other methods, which include polishing and maybe spraying clear coat, they're all decent, but the one thing they don't do is completely remove the burnt yellow plastic. And without removing that, it's going to come right back. If you'd like, I have another video on restoring headlights, which I'll link below, that used the famed toothbrush and toothpaste method. Now that worked okay, and it was a quick fix, but it did not remove all of the burnt yellow plastic. And as you can see here, the headlight we've been using in this episode is that same headlight I used for the toothbrush and toothpaste method. So let me remove the tape revealing the toothpaste method and we can compare it to this new wet sanding method. Boy, is the difference amazing. That toothpaste method does work a little, but this wet sanding method is phenomenal. You can really see the difference between the two. And when we compare this headlight with the way it looked before, the results are absolutely astonishing. Now let's compare this headlight with one that is yellow and sun faded. I don't know about you, but to me, I would say this wet sanding method is the only way to make it look like new. All right. Well, I hope you liked this video as much as I did making it. If you wouldn't mind, hit that thumbs up and leave a comment or suggestion below. Also, check the description below for more information and links. And you can find me on Instagram at One Road Garage or my website, OneRoadGarage.com. I'm Jimmy, this is One Road, and I will see you in the next one.